Hi Taurus, it's L here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you um, for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. Uh, thank you to those who already do so. Um, I hope that you all are safe. Okay? Safe and healthy. Alright? Oh, jeez. Cards flipping out everywhere. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. If, yeah, and they could be lying to you. Or you have an Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Who you, you really, you know, there's a lot of love for. You're missing them. They could be lying to you too. About maybe a relationship or their business or money or or um yeah they're they're not giving you the the whole truth okay and they may be trying to get something from you okay uh let's see it could be an aquarius gemini libra also let's see what's going on for taurus this week taurus all right first card out okay third card all right so Taurus, let's see what's going on here. Right. So you may get a message. Um, it's going to be a message that's going to require you to take action. This is opportunity. Here's the message that, okay, you know, this business, this job, this person has, they'll do, they'll, they'll help you go. So then it's up to you to you know do whatever it is you need to do with this type of message but it's like a conditional message it's an if then message like well you know if they are doing this then you should do that or or it's telling you that this person this job this place whatever you know it's giving you a message of needing to take action maybe even go in a new direction here or uh, maybe even structure uh restructure what you're doing yeah it could be about you could be getting a message from someone it's a, it could be an apology it could be from a Libra uh, it doesn't have to be um, it could be a message of um, yeah it could be an apology judgment whatever it may be with a court or court systems it's going to go in your favor let's see Wow, it can even be a relationship. Um, you may be giving someone younger than you a message, you know, apologizing um, because you feel like, or someone could be doing this with you, Taurus. They feel like you are, um, this is a successful relationship. This is a successful connection. And they want to further it. It's one that is mutually beneficial. Um, it's the washing of, of each other's hands. It's the the exchange here. Um, someone could even be saying that they want to marry you or they want to take the relationship to the next level. Um, it could be a child apologizing and trying to renew the relationship also. Somebody wants peace with you. They want to move into a new way of being with you and they want you to they want you to choose peace they are choosing peace they also want you to choose what's best for the the relationship the situation what's best for everyone here uh this person could have um they're coming to kind of restore the balance here um They could even be traveling toward you or you them. You could be in and out or they're in and out. Some Something of that nature where somebody doesn't stick around long. Someone towards you could be giving someone a message um, because you feel like this is a successful connection. You could even be inquiring about documents of some sort that have to do with money. Um, maybe you're paying this person and then you're going to get money. It could be tax related. I don't know, um, but there's a message here. Uh, it looks like of good news. Things are going to go in your favor here, and then you'll be tell you, you tell this person that you're moving closer to them, or or you're here. It's like you're here, or you say I'm, or they say I'm here, and um, will you meet me or, or something, something of that nature. 
you guys have a significant history together. If it's not 100% romantic, it's um definitely something that uh is significant here. You could be dealing with a Libra. Um, there could be a child apologizing once again because they want to make the situation better. They want to make the relationship better. Let's see what your advice is this week. Nine of Earth. Okay. The Messenger of Air. Okay. Wow, you may have... Um, you're being very objective about what you want and, and being selective too. You've been through a lot and it's your time to to put in place what it is you want for yourself. Some of you could be having a successful, some successful self-employment here and you're going to shift your job. If you have a job, you might change job, change your career altogether because you have something that you can expound upon, something that it's meant for you to do something that you can build upon something that you that can be foundational that can be um that can offer you a lot of long-term stability here or maybe even long-term goals are getting fulfilled you're getting recognition your reputation is being highlighted for something that you do um your, your advice here is to if you do if you are self-employed do know that's going to be highlighted um, it, it looks good. Money is here. There also is another opportunity here. You may be also giving an opportunity. Someone, the advice here is for you to accept another opportunity. It looks like it may come in the form of a message this week, next week. The energy is fluid, right? Um, once again, another message that requires you to, to act fast, to move fast. You're the messenger of air. But it's going to have to be some creative solution here. So you may have something that's in the, the middle of or in the interim. Like you're, you already work and then there's an opportunity for you to do something on the side. You have, you, some of you are restless in your current position because of this business opportunity. So you may altogether choose to go in a new direction here. Let's see what's highlighted for you this week. Um, it looks really good. Nothing but positive cards. If this is a business partnership, um, it looks good. More more things are coming in for you. You're being a very objective. You know where you want to be, and the object is to get there. So anything that doesn't serve the um, the greater goal or the greater good, you you're cutting it out here, which is really good. What should Taurus be concerned with this week? Hobbies. Yeah, I don't know if you monetized a hobby. This card talks about monetizing a hobby. It, it could become very successful. Nine of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. It could become very successful for you. Um, it says engage in a hobby if you're inside. If you're quarantined, right? Um, engage in a hobby. A hobby, you could just get better at it it also is going to be a positive outlet for you um this this business could really boom for you it could really um skyrocket it could really bring you a lot of money prestige your reputation is highlighted here um you have windfall at the bottom of the deck uh i think with this comes you having to make the decision to move away from a position you were already in so um that's very interesting uh taurus have a really good week if you feel like this reading resonated with you go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the coupon codes below if you want to take advantage of the one question one answer uh readings you can email the email address below um and uh you can pay for your one question uh receive the answer to in your email to your one question Thank you. Take care. Many blessings.